Okay, guys. Hey, Sean here. Uh, BW team, last video I'm going to make for a while. I wanted to cover the last thing was pulling data uh, from a John Deere data operations center. So, you know, some of these tractors are, are, or some of these, these combines and tractors are obviously uploading data to the operations center now. Um, you know, so if you don't have the ability to go directly to the piece of equipment and, and pull that data like I've discussed in some other videos, <laughs> and a girl is willing to give you his my John Deere uh, credentials for logging in, so you can you know pull the data that you need off of off of the website. Then let's go through that process. So I'm just going to go. I'm at Google. Just starting out of here, I'm just going to type in my John Deere. I get my John Deere login. I'm going to go there. You can you can type in you can Google Operation Center you can Google a number of things and get to the same spot. So I've got my username here. Uh, type in my password. I've got a couple guys that I have linked in here, so I can I can actually pull data from a couple different operations here just by logging into into my account, which makes you know chasing some of these some of this equipment down uh, a lot simpler if you're playing around with some data. So. First thing that comes up, let everything load here. This is just telling me the equipment that the guys have that I'm pulling data from. So I've got a combine, a tractor, and a Hagee sprayer. Uh, we're looking for this. We want to go to operation center. And so realistically, there's a couple different ways of, of pulling data here. Um, they're both maybe, you know, they both have their own pluses and minuses or, or, or pros and cons. Um, but the first thing that pops up as soon as you're logged in and you click operation center, it brings up, uh, like in this case, this is the organization that I'm going to pull data from. I've got my equipment and I've got the field. So if I do this one, I can go to fields and it lists all the fields. And this grower doesn't particularly, we don't particularly have a lot of its fields set up perfectly in there. But if you've got a guy that's using this quite a bit, it's got field boundaries, got field names, got everything in there. It's actually a pretty slick way. We would just go over here to the three tabs with checks and we would say, we could select the fields we want. Let's say maybe we want this one and we want this one and we want this one. We can do that or we could select all, it's however we want to do it. And if we go to the arrow, it pops up export. It's going to think about that for a, for a hot minute here. And it's going to ask us what file type would we like to use? In this case, I'm going to always recommend the shape file. It says, which data would you want to export within 257 select fields? So I'm just going to select boundary. I can put a date range in here. Basically, it's from uh, the last three months. I can click apply. And when I do that, it tells me that I've got 14 tillage operations, two seeding operations, and 61 application operations. No harvest. Uh, unfortunately, this guy's uh, combine has kind of stopped talking to operation center and uh and, and it's the one that I, I did the video on pulling it directly out of that 2630 there uh, uh a little bit ago so anyway i can select what i want here if i if i want these seating or if i want these applications and i can click next and it's going to ask me for the export file name it's going to it's going to pre-determine at this one i can write in what i own what i want i'm going to leave all these blank and then i'm going to hit export it's going to think about that for a second and it's going to say your file is being created. The file will be available for soon for download in files. You'll be notified in the notification center when the file is complete. It says, here's my export name, how many fields, how many boundaries, how many operations. So uh, we can hit done or we can hit go to files. I'm going to hit done because I don't want to go. I don't want to go to directly to the files because that is the second way that we can download data. So I'm going to go up here instead of just going direct. I'm going to go up here to more. And I'm going to go down here to uh, files. Now, if you do what we did the first time, here is an export. This is one I did before I started the video. It took about five minutes or so before that data process and came here. So, you know, if you do that, uh, it's a good idea to, you know, maybe work on something else for a little while, do that, and then and then come in and check on that a little bit later. 
uh, you know, if it's a if it's a grower that's got all of his yield data going into data operation center, and you're going to take it all. It's going to take a little while to process that. So you just kind of got to keep checking back. The other way to do that is is when files are syncing, they're every day or every time you close a field, that sort of thing. Those data is all that data is coming in. Uh, you can see there's already data today that's come in where guys have where they've been working around and doing different things um, and, and doing that. So um, this came in most likely overnight. I'm guessing these were fields that were worked yesterday uh, and, 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 and last night it, it sent all this data to operation center. So if I know, like say the harvest data that I want is from the Lake Road 120, I could select that and go here to the top and I could hit download and it'll download that. Or if I did the other way where I downloaded all those shape files, I can go right here and I can select that export that we named and I can hit download and it will download that. So let's do, uh, let's just grab this one and let's hit download. We want to download this to the desktop or a device. I click download. Much like coming out of field view, we get that, uh, we get the, the, the pop-up shows up at the bottom. The folders are already zipped. I'm gonna go through here and just show it in the folder. Um, you know, it's got a long file extension name. Um, if you do a bunch of these, you kind of got to work at keeping them, keeping them straight, but they already come out zipped. Each one comes out individually zipped. Uh, but if we want to see what that is, we can open that up. We can see that we've got John Deere data folder. Uh, we've got a log file. We've got the 2021 season. And these are our JDL files, which is what we'll bring into uh, SMS when we, when we process that information for you. So my advice, again, is just grab a hold of these. Uh, compressed zip files. The work's already done. You can export those right to us, and uh, and we'll get that data processed. So this is the method for getting uh, harvest data or other data out of John Deere Operations Center. Thanks, guys.